morning, everybody. Welcome to, uh, welcome to, oh, zookeeping stream. <laughs> Guys, um, I've called it keeping stream always uh, to avoid the immediate, like, zoo, right? Um, we have changed it to zookeeping because it makes sense to everybody, and there's a ton of new people because we're on the front page. So it just immediately says what it is. You know? There's no real difference in definition from zoo and sanctuary, though, uh, because there are, I think when people, I think the difference is usually like zoos are open to the public, you know? But, um, thank you for the sub. Uh, we're obviously not open to the public, but there are private zoos. Um, and there are sanctuaries that are open to the public, so it doesn't really mean anything. But anyway, it may mean uh, me talking about uh, me talking about zoos a little bit today. If people come in and they're like, "This is a zoo," we'll see. Zoos are for-profit orgs, not always. Not always. Um, so yeah, we we change it to that for uh, clarity's sake for all the new people coming in. Also, I need your guys' help before they get here. They're coming soon. Before they get here, the goals with the front page are follows here and on Alveus. And on Alveus. If they want to Twitch Prime over at Alveus, that's also cool, you know, that would be fine. Um, but the goal is growth, okay? And we want to sustain it, right? We're trying to get more people that want the animal stuff. All right, more people that want to learn, more people that want to see the animals and like Alvea's things. That's the goal, all right? Milk the mane, you hear? Are they in the fridge? They are, I was gonna say if you, if you want to do the marks, that's good. <gasps> Perfect timing! Okay, let me wash my hands. Guys, I'm gonna talk to you while I'm washing my hands. We have two marmosets, okay? Marmosets are very small primates. We have a common marmoset and a black tufted marmoset. They are primates from Brazil. Um, they're relatively new to us. We got them in December and we got them from a neglect case in Austin. Somebody bought them as pets uh, and then didn't take care of them properly. So they didn't get the right diet. They didn't get enough exercise. So they have a list of medical problems, metabolic bone disease, dental disease, um, malnutrition problems, etc. And so they've been undergoing a rehabilitation process with us here since the end of December. And you haven't seen much of them on stream because we want to be really careful to not present them as pets. So we don't want to show them in their inside cage because they kind of look like pets. Um, but they're moving to a big outdoor enclosure very soon. That's what today's stream with Connor is, is working on setting up their enclosure. Um, so you guys are going to meet them today and see how they're doing. Um, and we'll talk about them. Their names are Appa and Momo. Yeah. Why would someone buy them and not take care of them? You would be amazed how many people buy things because they think they'll be cool and then don't realize that it's not like a dog or a cat. So the reason we're really careful with the monkeys is because monkeys are heavily exploited in the exotic pet trade. So yeah. One of the really common things is that monkeys eat fruits, and then they just like people are like, "Oh, I'll just give them all give the them fruit. a banana," and then they yeah. end up with fifteen teeth pulled. Yeah, Momo has had fifteen teeth pulled. I think that was just the second time. The second time, the first time it was only a few. Oh, really? Okay, like seven teeth pulled the first time. They're like humans. They, I think they only have thirty-two. So, so he lost. Have any teeth left. Yeah, he has like no teeth left. Come on, boys. All right, I'm gonna stand over there by like the meal prep table. Um, <laughs> what do you think? Oh, that's Appa. Appa is a common marmoset. As a Brazilian monkey, he likes iPads and tech and peeing on things. He, they may not handle today because there's a lot going on. Yeah. Oh no, he sees it. Wow, amazing. Oh, I'm too excited. Can you eat your jello while I try it away? And that's Momo. Momo is a black tufted marmoset. Momo is the one that got all those teeth pulled. Oh my god. Alright, 
He's chunkier than the ones I see around here in Brazil. Okay. Okay. Well, we have been. Their body, their body condition has improved greatly, is what she said. We have been trying to get them to put on weight because they came to us really thin. I don't know how he got up there, guys. Oh. Talented. They are super beautiful, but they're also, like, look how tall that is. You guys, can you tell how tall that is? You don't want monkeys in your house, you guys. They can get everywhere and anywhere. Um, they're, yes, he is a monkey. He's a primate, a little primate. So one of the reasons that you don't want monkeys as pets is because it's super unfair to them, obviously. These monkeys have a list of problems from being in someone's house. It's just not where they belong. Uh, oh. <laughs> no. He found the source. No. Uh, another reason that you don't want monkeys as pets. So number one, it's really unfair to them. Um, and it's bad for their welfare, and they're not meant to be in houses. Number two. Their ecological niche in the wild is to be seed dispersers. Um, so, and that means that they disperse seeds to help with forest regrowth. And I don't mean they carry around a little pouch and sprinkle seeds like a flower girl. I mean they eat fruits and then uh, poop the seeds out. And so they swing around the forest and they poop all over the forest to help with forest regrowth. And so they will swing around your house um, jump around your house like he's so kindly demonstrating. He is so much better. I, yeah, I was going to make a comment about the fact that Appa was the one that really was not mobile. He had very little use of his oh, <laughs> of his back legs uh, when we got him. Yes, Momo. Oh, what's that? Scary. Appa will target just about anywhere. He does not miss me. <laughs> Almost a little bit less responsive to the target. What do they watch on the- oh! Come oh. <laughs> here, I'm, a... uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jumped on the cameraman. She's like, how dare you drag me to the camera? Target. Good. Can you explain the target to them? Um, so a target's just a really easy behavior. So when he sees this red- dot, he knows if he goes to it, he gets reinforced. So it's a behavior that we'll be able to build upon at a later date. Um, so it'll help with things like voluntary kenneling or coming to the scale, which he does. He no longer needs it to come to the scale. He knows the scale now, but it's just a very gentle kind of way to introduce other behaviors, especially ones that as they get more complicated, it's an easy one that we can fall back on and reinforce to avoid them getting frustrated. Dink dong, show us the iPad. Oh, right. On the iPad, they like watching Magic School Bus Ooh. and Trash Truck. Good. Hold on. He knows oh. the target. You don't want sweet potato. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Momo likes sweet potato. <laughs> <laughs> Momo's over there eating his gel diet. He's like, ah, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, when I know you didn't see much of Appa when we first got him, but, like, he was not moving like he is now. It's kind of remarkable how much mobility he has and how active he is now. It's very cool. What kind of monkeys are they? Um, Appa, this one is a common marmoset, and then we also have a black tufted marmoset. He's a lot zestier than he used to be. Appa is much zestier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is it banana? It's been uh, sitting out for a couple minutes. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't think he minds. Yesterday he pulled one out of the sink, so nice. Ew. <laughs> oh. Chat <we're> out. <laughs> <laughs> Do they ever pee on you guys? <laughs> they pee on everything. Wow, that's nice. I was gonna try if you guys see on the camera. Um, you might be able to tell how sharp his teeth actually are. So he's little, but his teeth are actually quite sharp. You don't want him to bite you, and he does bite. <laughs> Ooh. 
Wow, perfect. <laughs> I wonder if he can see himself in the lens. I'm sure he can. Yeah. Um, yeah, they do, they pee on everything and they, they poop on everything. They, they just, potato. you can have it if you want, but you're being a little picky about it, so. They mark everything. You guys saw his teeth. Nice. Cool. Needle teeth. Yeah, they are by contrast. Oh. Uh, no. Nope. Oh my, Papa. Oh my God. <laughs> does not have teeth. <laughs> he's, uh, uh, see, he's, I was about to say he's an old man, but he's not. It, he, he just has, he's lost all of his teeth because of his former diet. But they're not old. <laughs> oh my god. Just <laughs> don't bite anybody, Abba. <laughs> he's on the cameraman's and arm. can relax. Okay. That's nice. Are you scared, Flip? He did so well. <laughs> That's great. Big difference in personalities? No kidding. Will they grow bigger? No, this is it. Someone asked why their tails are so long. Uh, their tails are not prehensile like some other monkeys. They can't grab anything with them, but they're really good for balancing because they're climbers. See? <laughs> Helps with balance. <laughs> Thank you for the demonstration. They do like to hang upside down. It's pretty cute. It is pretty cute. Where are they staying? They're in a cage inside right now because um, they've been going through a rehab process to get much stronger, but now that, that they're so much better, they're moving out that's into an outdoor thing. enclosure. <laughs> Thank you. Um, they're moving out to an outdoor enclosure. It is much larger. Um, wow. And really we're going to be setting it up today, right after this stream.